Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of We Man For You. We help men find the woman of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, gentlemen, this video is about relationships and emotional intelligence. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first share with you what emotional intelligence is. And then secondly, I'm going to give you an example, but also give you some understanding why we need to be emotionally intelligent in order to have a strong relationship. So let's get started. Emotional intelligence, gentlemen, has to do with when we become emotionally charged, how do we respond? Some people will react very harshly, while others will be very calm, very cool, very collected, and act very rationally. So gentlemen, you've got to ask yourself, do you respond? Let's just say you get angry at your boss or angry at an employee or angry at somebody. Do you respond with a big emotional charge? Or are you relaxed and calm and come in as a reasonable individual and talk to that person about what you're angry about? So guys, when you have a low emotional intelligence, it's usually around a one or a two. And a high emotional intelligence is around five, six, and maybe even seven. A high emotional intelligence, again, guys, means that you're more calm and you don't allow your emotions to get the best of you and go off and react in a very negative or forceful, aggressive way. So I got to tell you, there's a great example of this in Two and a Half Men. Season five, episode three. Now we know that Alan Harper has moved in with his brother, Charlie Harper, and is living at his beach house free of any rent. And Charlie, in this particular episode, is kind of moping around. He's feeling a little lonely. And Alan suggests that he come out and meet his new girlfriend's girlfriend. And Charlie's like, no way. I'm not going to meet somebody. I'm not going to go on a blind date. And then he starts asking some questions. He finds out that she's close to his age, which is around 40. And he says, no way. She's too old for me. When she gets 20 more years from now, she's going to be 60. Oh, my gosh. Of course, Charlie's a little paranoid here. So fast forward a couple of scenes, and there's Charlie in bed with a young woman. And he's realizing he can't even speak to this woman. She doesn't make any sense. She's not playing with a full deck, let's just say. So he comes downstairs. He seeks out Alan and says, okay, Alan, make the introduction. Well, this gal who Alan's girlfriend is now going to introduce Charlie to happens to be a judge, very well-respected judge in the community, obviously of higher intelligence and higher education, which, of course, would fit well with, with, with Charlie himself. So Charlie puts on a, a nice coat and tie, and they meet the girls at a restaurant for dinner. Charlie sits down and realizes, wow, she's freaking hot. And Charlie's emotions start boiling up in him, and he makes a fool of himself. Oh, my gosh. He doesn't know what to say to her. When he does say something to her, he embarrasses himself. So finally, he says, you know what? Let's just start over. He reaches out, puts his hand out, says, hi, I'm Charlie. Guys, I got to say that this is a great example of a very low-end, emotionally intelligent human being. And hopefully, you've got a good handle on the way you respond and the way you react when you get emotionally charged. This will help benefit you in your relationships and especially in romantic relationships. Gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's some great videos out there that have some fantastic content that will help you get closer and closer and perhaps find the woman of your dreams. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.